Hey, what's up, guys? This is Robert or Funky Giraffe, and today I'm going to show you uh, Black Ops 3 Shadows of Evil uh, map, the new map for the Black Ops 3 Zombies. Uh, I'm going to show you the Civil Protector uh, units that are around here. You'll see it says Civil Protector offline. I'm going to show you how to get that working. Uh, I like to call them Child Protective Service, but that doesn't matter right now. Okay, I'll show you guys the fuse for the Waterfront District. Um. You gotta. You don't have to do the beast thing to get up here. I would suggest it to get to the Juggernaug. You can come through here a lot easier for cheaper. <clears throat> You'll come up here. Uh, you see up on this catwalk area. I'm just gonna go run across the catwalk. You'll see this fuse right here. You'll anytime you go into an area, you want to look for this blue, shining light. So this is right here. Uh, it's not a set spot that'll be right here. There's uh three spots it can be in each district. I'm pretty sure. Uh, where I just picked that one. Another one I've seen right here is on this box right here, and the other one is laying over here some spot. I don't know for sure, but you'll just have to see a little blue glowing light and you'll be able to see it. Alright, now I'm going to show you the Canal District fuse. You just come up here on the Canal High Street. You gotta do the Marshawn Lynch mode to get to there. You just come through here, across this catwalk, go to the cold drinks where the perk will be at. Run across this right here blue light right here this is where one of the fuse locations is in the canal district I don't know exactly where the other spots are but all you have to do is it's in this general area up here you just gotta look for that light that little uh, light blue glow and it'll be over here somewhere alright now I'm gonna show you the footlight fuse I'm just gonna do this uh, Marshawn Lynch mode real quick to get up to there um turn this on but I also wanted to show you guys where a rift is at because you're going to need to know where the rifts are at so you can get to to be able to activate it. So one of the rifts are in this go over here on the uh, footlight district just in case you guys didn't know about it. And now I have that area open, I'm going to go up here. Just You just got to keep coming through here. Um, There's a part for a zombie shield actually right here. What do you know? Um... You're gonna walk up here, and uh, I need to open this door real quick, so I'll go ahead and do that. And you just gotta look around for uh, the fuse for a light. I found mine over here last time, here it is right here. Just pick that up, and now we have all three fuses, and I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rift now and show you what to do after that. Um, like I said, each area has three different locations for the fuse rat, so there's two other places where the fuse can be at over here. I don't know exactly where they are, but uh, like I said, they're in the general area, so you just gotta go by that. Now we're gonna go ahead and go through this rift, and the rift. I don't know what this does. Okay, I'm gonna go through this rift real quick. Now while you're in this area, there'll be uh, those ghosts, flying ghosts coming around. I like to call them witches or wizards that come around. But you're gonna so be careful about that. You're gonna go to this master switch over here. Place all three fuses. After you place those, all you have to do is go back through that rift where you came from. They're all open right now just because that's just how it works out. I'm gonna go through this. And the next civil protector unit you go to, or uh, child protective service, call it. Um, you just go to one of those. And it'll, uh, you'll see on them they have a 2,000, the number 2,000 on them. That means how many points you need to donate to them. It's activated right now. It says contribute to civil protection fund. Um, all you have to do is you have to get that down. And once you get that down to zero, you can summon him. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why. I just put some points to it. You see the numbers go down. I'd summon them, but it switched back to contribute. So once you get that to zero, um, I'll show you what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, what happens when you contribute to it. I'm just gonna contribute my little money, my little savings, my 110, and he's gonna go ahead and donate the rest of it because he's a good pal. And so this fucking magic. There it is. Oh, he just landed and killed it. Okay, so we're just gonna show you and him and act. Uh, whoever we're pretty sure whoever uh, activates him, he stays by. But he's really cool. He helps out a lot. He um. He will re he'll revive people, he'll even pick up uh, power-ups and stuff, so he's a really good hand. Right now we're on round 10, so what is this, a suicide bomber round? Yep, so he's going to help us a lot, a lot with this. Uh, so, I'm just going to kind of chill over here so I can just show him in action. He uh, he does work, definitely does a lot of work. Especially against 
turn around, he's so helpful. Um, he sticks around for a decent amount of time. If you're trying to save a zombie for a crawler, though, it's not that good of a thing to have him there because he will go and kill your crawler. So it's a. Uh, it's definitely a really nice thing to have. It'll definitely get you in a high rounds if you're trying to do that. If you just solo, I could definitely guarantee it would be really nice. And watch, he'll go ahead and pick this max ammo up. Or wait, you know it's too high. He don't jump for it. That's actually hilarious. Okay. But, okay, so... <laughs> okay, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been Funky Giraffe or Robert. Uh, Thanks again to Waffle Tight Pants, uh, me and him both figured this out on our own, and here comes Margot.